After the case unboxing, I'll take a look at some of the Hot Wheels ride-on vehicles. What's happening, everybody? Here we have 2019 DEA. Uh oh, DEA. <laughs> Here we go. Now, it's just the first code. We just know it's a D case. The other codes change because it's kind of like the mix that's inside. Um, I used to buy extra cases and show how, you know, the different case codes can change. It's just a different mix. But let's go ahead and check out this 2019 D case assortment. Bring it on down. Let's get the camera down so we see all the cars. Here we go. Oh, right away. Thank you very much. We have Twin Mill. Twin Mill. Classic Hot Wheels model. And if you find this Twin Mill, uh, congratulations. It's the basic treasure hunt. Wow, right off the bat. There you have your Circle Flame logo. And you can see right behind the Circle Flame logo. That's the treasure hunt. It's not going to be in every case in the D case assortments. This is the basic treasure hunt. They have a super treasure hunt, which will be something else. But, uh, wow, very, I'm very glad that this was in the case. Because if I didn't get it in the case, I was going to I was gonna acquire it myself on the side. Here we have the 16 Mercedes AMG GT3 in yellow and black, along with the 87 Dodge D100. Seventy one Mustang funny car. And if you watch every case unboxing video, these some of these carry you know, quite a few of these carry over from the last case. And some of these will carry like this a Dune Daddy. You might see it in the E case. It's not that not that they're exclusive to this case, except for the treasure hunt, okay? The treasure hunt is exclusive to the D case. Uh, unless something comes up. <laughs> Let's just say. Dune Daddy. You know, I seen this in the store and I thought, oh no tampo. No, but you know what? It only has printing on the hood. And if you look at the package, that's how it's supposed to be. Pretty cool. It's a neat uh, dark brown. Pretty unique for uh, a Hot Wheels color. Uh, 69 Dodge Charger 500. What can I say? It's black. Just black. No taillight decorations, but you have side marker right here. I don't see anything over the top. It has a gray interior. You have side marker, you have a door handle, mm, and hood pins. You do have hood pins for decoration. Very cool. Here you have, ah, and this was in the last case, Tanner Fox's Guacamole. Quackzilla 17 Nissan GTR R35. Two samples in the case. And like I said, it was in the last case, and it did carry over into this one. This is a tough one to find in the stores. I finally found one in the store. Uh, unfortunately, they have they have this graphic right here, and uh, it didn't carry around to the back. But this is a basic model. They can't afford, well, they say they can't afford to paint every side. Now, if you bought his over a hundred dollar, two hundred dollar, I don't know how much it was. Um, he had a special thing for fans. You could have got a special version of that with all the decorations. Surf and turf in like a uh, light lavender. Now, I was not going to spend that kind of money to <laughs> acquire that car. Uh, too much, uh, too rich for my blood. Custom Volkswagen Beetle. You have a roof rack. That model has been changed. It has a roof rack. In the old days it had something else and the tailpipe was changed as well. There you have the Porsche Panamera in a police, uh, a police decoration. Police. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that, but I do know that's a uh, uh, police in Europe. USS Vengeance from Star Trek. You have Electrek, two samples of Electrek in the Super Chromes series. Oh yeah, I've been picking up a few extra of these because I'm going to be using them for track time. So. Oh yeah, if you want to suggest a car for track time, you could put one or two cars. I see people, they put a whole bunch of cars, and if you suggest more than one or two, I don't count any of them. Bubblematic. This is a second color, I believe. I like the first one. The first one was pretty cool. This one, okay, this is a fast car and very good on the track. And if you, as far as you posting comments, you know, if I happen to pick your name, you know I search all the comments to make sure you followed the rules. So 
If, if you suggest more than one or two, none of them are going to count, okay? Surf and turf again. Two samples of the 18 Copal Camaro SS with the Hot Wheels 50th logo on the side. This was new to last case. Here you have Wheelie Driver for Aaron Wheels. Aaron Wheels Fotheringham. Pretty cool. Yeah, you get yourself a Hot Wheels wheelchair. Decorations in the back, different color wheels. And uh, I don't know how well this is going to work. Uh, I did a, a minifigure unboxing video. And I don't know, it shows them sitting on there and another guy hanging on for dear life. But as far as the figure being able to sit there, it's only a little ledge. I don't, uh, you know what? Since I did that, I still have this here. I'll check this out at the end. I'll, let me open up one of these and check that out. Here we have a 16 Cadillac ATS-V-R. You know what's funny is I found this at Target. These at Target, right? And when I found this one and I go, hey, you know what? Uh, the last time the Hot Wheels released like a, uh, this, this car, and it's like very, very low profile. It's an AMG GT3. They had this car the same time. So when I found this at Target, I go, oh, I wonder if they're going to release it. And then I found it, same time. So they kind of cycle at the same time. Hang on, someone's knocking at the door. I'll be right back. Good morning, brother. You again. I'm, I say, I don't, I don't know if he's there or not. <laughs> man, I'm making a video and all of a sudden I hear a thunk. I said, oh, my bad. oh, someone's at the door. No, but that's why I locked the door. So oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, right. man. Yeah. Oops, sorry about the interruption. I had a package arrive. Okay, let's continue. I hope I didn't lose my place. Talked about these. Anyways, these two got released again at nearly the same time. It does seem like Mattel cycles their production schedule at a regular basis. I've been noticing that since uh, I have been doing unboxing videos since 2012. So six years, you can kind of notice those things. Rising Heat, well, I think I like this color better than the first color that was released. This is a newer Hot Wheels model. It's not new, new. Uh, 85 Honda City Turbo in light blue. Pretty nice. This was new last place. Here, here we got a, you got your Honda. You got your Honda 85 Honda CRX. Uh, I really like the color. Just classy. Looks very nice. And it does have tail light decorations or rear end decorations. CRX, Honda, you have your side markers and the side decorations. So if they decorated those two sides, the rear and the side, and the other side is the same. That means there'll be nothing on the top and nothing in the front. Because they already did two sides, this one and that one. That's their rules. They only do two sides. 87 Dodge D100. Already had that one. Oh, what is this? Someone's, oh, someone sneezed. What is that? Got a loogie on there. Just kidding. It's like a piece of tape. Here you have uh, the 16 Camaro SS. Uh, I was laughing because I thought, oh no, don't tell me I got on the car. But that's actually a tampo. It says Borla. It's just like it has Borla on the side. And this tampo, not so good. This tampo, nice and crisp. And there you go, 18, 16 Camaro SS. And there's a second sample of the 16 Mercedes AMG GT3. And here we have Volkswagen T2 pickup. Now, I'll talk about that in a second. Muscle bound. Wow, this is really cool. A lot of talk about this car. For people who don't like fantasy cars, they still like this one. Muscle bound. It is a Hot Wheels fantasy car. But the decoration is just too cool. And it's part of the Speed Blur series, if you enjoy buying those. The Dodge Charger stock car is back. Mm, I don't know, actually, if it was in the singles. I know it was in multi-packs. A big Mopar logo on the hood. But this car right here, this one, if you're lucky, this is the, if you find the super version, it'll have rubber tires and special paint, and it'll have a gold Circle Flame logo behind the car. The basic treasure hunt has a silver Circle Flame logo behind the car. Uh, no logo, looks like regular wheels, but still nice color, pretty cool looking color for this model. 
It's not necessarily one of my favorite models, but it looks pretty good like that. Uh, it'd be nice if I had a Super, but I doubt it. I doubt the Super's going to be in there. Drifter! Just kidding. Track Manga in pink. This showed up first in multi-packs here in the USA. So I'm glad to see it in the singles. And this is a new model. 67 Jeepster Commando. New for 2019. First appearance in the D case. It says Earl Motors on the side. Earl Motors. And then it says Earl Motors again underneath that. Kind of plain. Hey, they decorated the bike. Check it out. There's a bike on the back and they printed on the bike. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what piece. Uh, that bike is a separate piece. I don't know if it's part of the interior. I don't know if that's could be all one piece. Anyways, check out those wheels. Pretty cool looking wheels too. Get a close up. Yeah, pretty cool looking wheels. Actually, I have like a little bit of tread on them. Looking good. Base code L39. So L39, that means it was produced the 39th week of 2018. And USA packages. We get this information on the back for the new models. So you can pause and read that if you'd like. And we'll move on. Here we have the 10 Camaro SS. Red, white, and blue couple of these oh yeah i seen this in target definitely picked this one up already porsche 918 spider black and red ah this is a this is a sharp looking car definitely a very very nice release and you already seen that one in the case you guys probably already know groom mobile so let's keep moving crescendo and blue looks fantastic in those colors Batman, Batmobile, Justice League, Batmobile, Justice League, Batmobile, and uh, you know, there's. A, I think this is a model where you can that turret actually spins. Ducati 1199, Panigale. Yep, here we go. Like this one, nice on Fair Lady Z. Uh, I was uh, hanging out at a bowling alley in the 80s, and a guy had a. Uh, not a Fair Lady Z, had a 240s, I think Datsun 240z. I uh, really like that car, and this is pretty much in that same style. 67. There you go. There's that very brand new model. New to this case. Mm -hmm. There's there's another new model in this case. Haven't seen it yet. 68 Chevy Nova in Golf. Mm -mm. This is a nice looking car. Already got one. I, I just picked one up off of the pegs already. I couldn't I couldn't resist. I didn't buy them all. I just bought one another Panigale Yeah, the 65 Mustang 2 plus 2 fastback black interior Stripes on the hood decorations on the side. So if you know there's uh, one side two sides It's not gonna be on the tail and it's not gonna be in the front No printing on the front Two samples, and there you have T Rex Troider in a gray type color. The Hollinator. Two samples of the Hollinator, and there is another 71 Mustang funny car. Nice color, but it's not a funny car. It doesn't open it up. A lot of conversation. I opened it up in the last case, so I'm not going to open up another one. 78 Dodge Little Red Express truck. I mess that up. Anyways, there's another one that could be kind of a little confusing. Look, hey, no, no decorations. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, they just, they just printed the front and the top. That's the two sides this model's gonna get. And what else do we have here? Oh, here's a new model. It's in my hand. Not this one, Indy Oval, Indy 500 Oval in green. In red, you have the Corvette C7 Z06 convertible. And this is a new model, Moto Wing. So one licensed new model and one fantasy new model, new for 2018. Here you can have a look at the back. This fighter plane slash motorcycle mashup uses a huge wing for high speed stability. It's massively modded two-stroke motorcycle engine, hybrid dynamos, and chain drive make Motorwing a true cyberpunk racing hero. 
I seen this in the stores and uh, it's pretty pretty cool looking design. And I'm thinking, man, it's gonna be kind of hard to sit there. You're pretty squished on the right. You do see the pedal for your left foot. I guess your right foot has to hang on the edge, like that guy he just has it barely hanging on the edge. It, has a, it looks like a surfboard in there. Pretty cool. 2019 new model, first appearance. Two samples of the Volkswagen Golf MK2. Mark II, I remembered. I can't believe I caught myself this time. Uh, you pronounce this Mark II, okay? Not MK2, Mark II. Last time I just pinned a comment to the top of the uh, comment section to say, I'm sorry, I forgot again. But this time I remembered. Here you have Motosaurus. Motosaurus. And last but not least, three yellers. 70 Chevelle SS wagon in yellow. Did you guys get enough uh, of this car last year? I would have uh, 1,600 different colors, I think it was, last year. And here you have the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster in yellow. If you find one in a goldish color, it is a super treasure hunt. It's not from this case. Nonetheless, it is a super treasure hunt. And I know you guys are seeing that sticker right there. Uh, I'll let you see what that is. Uh, I've never seen a sticker on the inside of the box, or I don't recall. This uh, really nice decorations. And if you get the super, it's fantastic. I love the big meaty tires. Uh, what's that sticker? Let's see. Uh, there you go. I I don't think that sticker is going to be in every case. I don't think so. I think it fell off something else. But look at the production. 10, 3, 18. Uh, anyways. So let me, go ahead, let me go ahead and open one of these up and see how well uh, a dude can sit on there. I opened up one of the wheelie chairs. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Yeah, look, it sits right at the right angle. Now, uh, I'll try out a minifigure in just a second. There was actually two. This is also a ride-on vehicle that was in it. In that case, I'm going to open up this one. Uh, as far as I, I showed uh, the bat, uh, I think this Hot Wheels model is Let's Go. I said I was going to use that uh, for the demonstration, but you know the bat. The bat actually has wings on it. It has wings that stick out. So instead I went and grabbed a couple other figures. This one is from my Lego Series 5 unboxing video. I think this one's called the Gladiator. Um, let me go ahead and take these off because you're going to need your hands. And let's see. I'm also going to use these. Now even though on the back it might look like they're uh, Lego minifigures, they don't really say. It might be Mattel's mm, Mega Blocks. I forget. I think it's Mega Blocks. But anyways, I have these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures, and these are better because they have uh, they have the hands are much more positionable. So I have these to test out as well. I don't know if I'll use the bat because those wings might get in the way. I try to put the Lego minifigure on there, and just as I suspected, there's not a big enough ledge for him to stay. Well, let me let's see if I can get him to stay. Oh, well, let's see. You could park him there for display. Let's sit on there. Let me move his hands out of the way. So if you keep working at it, you can probably get him to sit there. Yeah, not so good. And I even tried I even tried the hands to go straight down. And no, it does not work with the Lego minifigures. Let's go ahead and try these. These have better positionable hands. Let's see. How do I turn this? Uh, let me see if these can hold on. <laughs> His butt sticks down too far. The rails aren't high enough. The rails aren't high enough for him to hold on. Maybe if you lean forward a little bit. Well, I've got it to barely hang on. Uh, but he's leaning forward. Oh, dude. Oh, you lost your leg. Uh, medic, medic. Okay, next uh, we'll bring some. <laughs> we have to bring somebody else in. Let me bend his legs here. I'm trying to pop a squat. What are you doing there? Just put the hands down. Let me see if I can get the. Hang on. Well, there you go. I got the hands to barely hang on. You can see a gap inside his palm there. 
this side I got all the way. Uh, it's all right. He looks like he doesn't look like he's very comfortable sitting there. Maybe if I keep working it, maybe if I keep working it, it can make it look better. Uh, actually, that's not too bad. That's pretty good. I'm not going to say that's not too bad. That's pretty good. So you can get it to work with Lego. Uh, I guess the mm, brands Mega Blocks. I think that's what they're called. So you can get it to work with that. This one right here. Here you have the kick cart. The kick cart. Let's see. Can you stand there? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Same thing. You try the Lego minifigures. Let's go ahead and pop off his uh, helmet. Put him, let's see if he has fit in there. There you go. He can sit in there. So that's all right. Works works all right with your Lego minifigures. The picture on the back shows your driver holding on to the steering wheel. There's no steering wheel to hold on to. It's just like this big square flat. Uh, there's nothing to grip onto. And the Lego figures won't grip it anyways because their their shoulders are too wide and it won't reach. As for the Mega Blocks, I can't get them in. Took a lot of work. And the picture, if you remember the picture, it showed your dude sitting all the way in here. Uh, his, his head's going to be sticking up no matter what. Uh, this is my least favorite ride-on vehicle. Hey, come here. Let's go ahead and try you over here. Uh, dude, you're, you're going to have to... Uh, <laughs> you're, gonna, you're, just, you're just not going to work in this one. Sorry. Anyway, here's some other... Oops, sorry. Anyway, here's some other videos to check out if you have some time. It's up to you. I got those uh, Mega Blocks. Uh, that's, that's a link for those Mega Blocks. It's kind of fun to play with. Uh, it doesn't work with a figure too well. You have to get just the right one. But you know what? Have fun and play with your toys. Bye-bye.